you need to know what are the boy frictions friction is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces fluid layers and material elements sliding against each other in simple words it's a force which always acts in the up direction opposite to the direction in which the object is moving or trying to move for example we are trying to push a book across along the surface of the floor friction makes it difficult friction is caused between the tread on shoes and the ground this friction acts to grip the surface and keep it slipping there are many types of friction and a variety of uses to it my friends here are going to help you with it what is sliding friction the term sliding friction refers to the resistance created by two objects sliding against each other this can also be called as kinetic friction the sliding friction is intended to stop an object from moving here i'm going to rub my hands together so let's see what happens it becomes too hot when you rub your hands together the action of scraping the surface of your skin back and forth against each other causes the molecules in your skin to move a little faster the faster the molecules move the higher the temperature so the friction of rubbing your hands together makes them feel warmer So when we push the bottom of a glass across a table the sliding friction slows this motion preventing the glass from falling but if the table is too smooth the sliding friction will be less and thus the glass may fall what is a static friction it is force of friction acting on an object that doesn't move if you push try to push on a block and it doesn't move it means that it is held by a static friction and it is equal and opposite to your push example 1 is about a how rice works on a static friction let us look Imagine insect crawling on a hemispherical surface. It can crawl up to a certain height. After crawling up to a certain height, it slides down. Why? We will find the answer. If we place a block on an inclined plane, it doesn't move or slide down. If integral theta is less than a certain value, this is because of the force of the static friction is equal to mg sin theta. We can represent various forces acting on the block. mg acting downwards. mg is a result into two triangular components. mg sin theta parallel to the plane and mg cos theta is perpendicular to the inclined plane the component mg cos theta balances the component and an mg sin theta balances the frictional force the force of the static friction is given as f is equal to mg sin theta what is rolling friction it is the frictional force which opposes the relative sliding motion of two surfaces in contact assume you are traveling to another city and you have a huge luggage to carry if you are unable to carry the luggage then the only option you have left is to drag it on the floor
But what if we had wheels under it? Won't it be far easier to carry it around? When we ride a bicycle, we rotate the pedal, which in turn rotates the chain ring. The chain ring pulls the chain, which rotates the rear sprocket, which in turn rotates the real wheel. The rolling friction from the ground applies force to the wheels, which prevent it from slipping. Fluid friction is a force that resists motion in fluids. Water pushing against a swimmer's body as they move through it and sucking off water through a straw are the examples of fluid friction. Hope this video was informative. Thank you.